everyone, so today I'm going to be turning this mess into this. So it's just basically a kind of soft ways, everyday curls kind of tutorial and I thought I might do a hair tutorial since I do post pictures of my hair on Instagram and you guys are like, how do you do that? Before I get started, I'm going to go through the things that you need to change this into the wonderful waviness that you see. And I will reveal my hair really, really soon. But first of all, what you need is, of course, a brush. I like to use a tangle teaser. And, ew, there's kind of hair in here, so sorry. This is just kind of like a bean-shaped comb. It's really easy to brush through my hair. I can't do without the Avita Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother. This has been such a lifesaver for me because I get knots and tangles when I come out of the shower and these just melt under this. You will need, of course, a hair dryer. So this is my hair dryer. It's a Philips Salon Dry Towel. You really, it doesn't really matter what hair dryer you get. I know there's a bunch of high-tech ones, but seriously, I just got this from my dad who didn't want it anymore. A curler, so I have the Rowenta Elite model look. I got this from Watson's, so you can get this from Watson's, but it's a bit hard to find now. I've been trying to find it for just my sister. I bought one for my sister the other day, but it was really hard just trying to find these now because they're really rare. I don't know why. And then I have these clips, so you kind of need clippies just to clip up your hair and section it. All right, guys, are you ready? So I'm just going to basically take off my towel and this is my lovely mop on my head. Um, as you guys know, look at this. Like, look how bad this mess is. This is not a good mess to have every single morning after the shower. And it's driving me nuts because I didn't used to have this kind of problem until, you know, I dyed my hair, until my hair became really brittle and dry. And obviously, I cannot go out of the house like this. Like, look how tangled it is. It's pretty bad. Like, all there's like a huge nest of tangled hair right here. All right, so the first thing I have to do is, of course, tame this mess before I hair uh, blow dry it and then I curl it. So basically, I'm just using my tangle teaser. Sorry, it's like excess hair, but I'm just using my tangle teaser. Now this tangle teaser, it doesn't really just comb out all the tangles as you can see, like it does it better than a no normal brush and it hurts less. So if you like find that a normal brush is really painful and everything, then you can get the tangle teasers because it feels a lot more gentle on the hair, but it helps to kind of detangle things. But it's not instant, so even if like I take this mob of hair, for example, and I use this tangle teaser, it's not like it's you have to go run it through a few times before you get any traction. But as you can see, the top of my hair is healthy because this just grew out of my hair and this part hasn't been dyed yet because as you know that I dyed my hair back to black so I didn't have to dye my roots again so that is healthy hair right there so I can't wait till this grows down and then I can just cut this off yes anyway so I'm just kind of combing it through and it's a lot better now but for these really dry ends as you can see I like to use the Avita so I just take a bit onto my like this just use my fingers and then just kind of scrunch that all over the dry ends and that really helps me as you can see even now look I can just kind of use my hands to do it do it and if you have really really bad tangles my tip is to actually take a little bit of this stuff or whatever detangler you have and then use your fingers and then say I have like a nest like you know nest this is called a hair nest but basically what you do is, instead of like running it through your fingers, you're actually going to make it worse. So you're going to make the tangles like just a hug even closer. So you have to be really gentle with it and just use your fingers just like this. And you can just kind of separate everything. Um, and you can see that like your hair is like a, a living thing. <laughs> it does not like to be roughly tamed. So... You have to be gentle to really detangle these lovely things in the morning, especially if you're like in a rush. Sometimes I, I can't even be bothered. I'm like, I'll just curl the mess and just get it over and done with. But as you can see, everything's kind of falling together. It's a lot better than just now. So, Avita's amazing. Look, look, like, look. I mean, like, seriously, thank you, Avita, for for everything. I use a Vita shampoo as well. 
um, I find that it's really helping me. Like this was not even three fourths of the mess I had back then before using Evita. Um, but my hair really likes Evita. But whatever shampoo works for you. But I'm kind of just like brushing my hair. Alright, All right, so I'm finished with uh, kind of making my hair a lot smoother and better as you can see. So now I'm actually going to hair dry it. Now I know hair drying can be very loud and disruptive. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to hair dry my hair in front of you guys except I'm going to do a voiceover instead with nice music and just basically cancel out all the kind of noises because obviously you probably don't need that. Time to blow dry our hair. So basically I'm just going to blow dry the roots first. I like to create a bit of volume at the top of my head. So what I do is I kind of just scrunch up the top as you can see while I'm hair drying it and that kind of helps to build up volume in my hair. So I'm always kind of focusing on the crown. Then if I'm blowing down to my kind of ends, I will hug the ends with my hand and then blow dry it because it's a lot easier to handle them and you can control it more that way. So I'm kind of just kind of scrunching the top and kind of making sure that I have volume towards the top of my crown. All right guys, so my hair is now dry as you can see. So now I'm going to show you how I get those soft, really nice kind of daily waves. It's not super like I'm a judge kind of curls or anything like that. It's something that you can wear every day and something that I wear every day. All right, so now you need your clips. So remember these little clips? You can get these anywhere. Like you can get them at Watson's and stuff, I think. But I got those ones from Taiwan because it's cheaper. All right, so what you guys do first is that I'm going to show you a systematic way to curl your hair. It's not just like you can separate two parts and then curl. It, it's very, very easy. This makes every single kind of strand curl. So you want that. So anyway, what you do is you start with your hair and what you're going to do is you're going to just do a half up half down but anything just basically above the ear so i'm going to just gather this hair on the top just like this and so basically you're left with this hair all right so now i'm going to do is going to wrap it around my hand so i'm going to do it again so i'm going to take this i wrap it around my hand and then my finger and then i'm just going to put it on top of my head. Then I'm going to take my two clips and I'm just going to grip those on my head. Just like that. So basically you look like a, I don't know, like an alien with ears that look like clips. Anyway, so I'm just going to comb that through. Alright, so basically you're probably going to be asking, so Roseanne, do you use any kind of heat product? Like, you know, something that makes your hair stick throughout the day. Okay, so basically I have not met a product yet that makes my curls stay, especially in this weather, because in Singapore it's hot and it's humid. So basically moisture is in the air everywhere. So it's really, really hard to make your curls stay, even with using product. And my friend who's a hairstylist always says that if you use too much product in your hair, it can actually weigh down your curls and make them last even kind of shorter than normal. So I, I kind of like am really bad and this is probably why my hair is like so messed up after I take a shower. I don't like to use product but for the sake of this video I'll just use a bit um, just like that but usually I do not do anything because I don't want it to weigh down and I feel like curling it this way it will make it last longer. But I know, I know, I know that um, you're not supposed to do that. Anyway, so I'm just gonna run my fingers through. So how it's gonna be is that you, what you do is you take the hair that you had at the back, so it's a half up, half down, and you take this hair and you put it forward. So you have half and half. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna curl this side, then we're gonna curl this side, then we're going to let down another section of hair from the top, and then bring it forward to, you know, bring it forward and then curl that section and then curl that section. Then we're going to curl the last section by letting that down, then dividing it by two and then curl that section and then curl that section. So as you can see, that way it will be quite um, systematic and you won't miss kind of 
a single strand because I know it can be quite hard to do hair just because you can't see what you're doing. All right, so how do you curl your hair? So basically what you do is you take a section of hair just like this and you can have, if you have a bigger barrel, like the width of this barrel, then you can put more hair, but if you have a smaller one, then you have to put less hair. So it's kind of depends. I have no idea how thick this is actually. I just bought it because it looked larger from normal. So this looks like this. If this is familiar to you, I am sorry, I don't I don't really know what inch curler is. I just thought, oh, it probably can create like bigger than normal waves, so I bought it. Alright, so what you do is you just take this. Okay, I'm going to do it once for you and then do it again anyway. So if you don't find it clear, you can just um, let me know. Alright, not like you can just let me know now, but let me know in the comment section below. Alright, so what you do is you open this up. So this is the kind of clamper clasp thing and you have to press this. And this is the on and off button. So you open this up. Alright, so then you push this in, clamp it down, slide it down. Okay, now I'm going to twist up towards myself, just like this, okay? Put your thumb back on the uh, claspy thing. Now, hold this, just like this, okay? So, twist this like that. Now we're going to press this claspy thing, and very slightly, so we're not going to open up, but we're just going to just press very slightly, so that we can slide this down. Right when I have probably this much left, I'm going to again turn that, alright, so I'm just turning the hair around the barrel, hold it again, turning it again, and then whatever is remaining, tuck that into the clasp. So that way you won't have any sticky ends, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to curl it up. And we can slide this down, it's not too hot yet. And then we wait, basically. If you want more everyday curls, you can stop around here. If you want really curly curls, you can start stop around here. But because this barrel is really large, you won't have those kind of like Judge Judy kind of curls. I know Judge Judy doesn't have any curls, but you know what I mean, like those really Victorian kind of curls. You won't get that anyway. You'll get like really nice everyday kind of larger curls, which is what I like. All right, so I'm just waiting. And I kind of feel like sometimes like how hot it is, I know. So to release the curl, I like to just grab here and release. And you can see the curl boing, boing, boing. And you can see the end, there's no sticky ends. So you want the no sticky ends kind of look, right? So nice and bouncy. So I'm going to let that kind of fall into place right there. And I'm going to grab another section of hair. You can do this really fast. Like while you're curling this, you're grabbing another section. But I'm going to do it as slow as I can so you guys can kind of understand what I'm doing. All right, again, you have the curler. So thumb on the clasp. I'm going to call it the clasp. Thumb on the clasp. And then open it. Slide it down. Turn it around. Grab. Turn it around. Grab. Tuck it in. All the while, the, the, the way you slide it down, you have to press this a little bit because if you don't, then you can't slide it down, obviously. All right, then just wrap it around. Yeah, so when I'm doing, um, when I'm kind of heating that up, I'm already grabbing the next section of hair to do. So we're gonna wait and wait. Not too long though, you don't wanna burn your hair, but I can kind of like, un like estimate the temperature like it's already, I can feel it getting hotter. All right, so we're done. So I like to grab this and release. Ta-da! There it is. So I'm going. All right, so again, I'm going to do it here. So I'm going to take this section. Again, open the clasp, slide it down. I'm always holding the tip of this hair, as you can see, unless I'm flipping it over. That's because I want to stabilize it. So slide it down again. All right, and then just tuck that in. And then all the way up. Or how, however, you, however up you want it to be. Ta-da! Okay. All right, so as you can see, it's 
very springy. There are no sticky ends, which is what you want. So here are three kind of kind of curls. All right, so I'm gonna curl the rest of this section, and then I'm going to talk about how I bring that down. All right, so once you have done the two kind of sections on each side, you can see that I haven't mixed any of them. So what you do is you're gonna take the clips off, and we're going to just let that go, and then we're going to just grab the top section, just like this, and we're going to roll that up again. So as you can see, I am doing this section by section. The reason why is because that's how you get those really thick layers of curls. If you don't do it this way, your volume is going to be less. But if you do it this way, then the volume is going to be more. So again, I'm taking what's at the back and I'm bringing it forward. Alright, so once you've done that section, then of course the last section, you just drop it down, do the same thing, and bring it forward. For the front sections, I like to actually curl them only halfway, just because you definitely do not want like Victorian kind of curls on the front. So I like to just stop like right around here. So as you can see, you have like a multi-dimensional kind of thing going on. So you're finished with kind of just curling hair. So now I'm going to show you how to loosen everything up. So when you finish curling your hair, all you have to do is use your hands to just loosen everything up. It doesn't look that great when, you know, you just curled your hair, but if you loosen it, as you can see, it's already fluffing up. So it's just really fluffing up the waves. That's what I like to do. And this kind of makes things look more everyday, in my opinion, and I like to just Fluff everything up just like this and then you can see already like the volume building up just like that so yeah so then you're basically finished oh. so this is my soft kind of everyday waves tutorial And then you can even strain it with your hands a bit. But this is totally my everyday hair. Like if I'm walking on the street, you'll see me with this hair. Yeah, so I really hope you like this tutorial and I hope you found it really helpful. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.